Hey, Andrew from Padable.ai. I'm gonna walk you through how I set up a campaign. Um, this kind of campaign should get me a handful of demos per day, uh, just on autopilot in the background. Um, so I'm gonna assume you already have your domain set up, um, your emails, uh, inboxes set up uh, and warmed up. Uh, and then also going to assume that you've already built your list of accounts. Um, so when building the list of accounts, you wanna be thinking about what kind of problem do I solve? What are some indicators that a company might have that problem? And then build your account based on that. Uh, so, um, and then after that, um, you can upload the list of accounts into something like Apollo and get the list of people. So that's what, where we are right now. We're at that step in the process. Um, and so then once you have the list of people, you want to just go back to that account list. And um, you, can, you can do something like equals unique, and then you can select the column of domains or of websites. Uh, and that's how you can kind of go from the list of people to the list of accounts. But I've already got that. Um, so the campaign that I'm running is basically, uh, I'm looking for companies that have low quota attainment rates and also have a RevOps function. And I'm gonna see if that's a good target to go after. So I wanna run a test on about 2,000 uh, targets. Um, so where I got the data from um, was um, RevView. So I've got this number here um, with fairly low quota attainment rates. I have no idea if these numbers are accurate, so I'm not gonna use that in the actual copy. Um, I'm just using this purely for targeting. I'm just hoping that it's directionally accurate. Um, some ways that you can scrape data like this, if you find a good place um, that has data that's relevant to the pain you wanna, you wanna reach out about is, is instant data scraper. So you stick this into your Chrome browser. Uh, I'm using a, a, a custom browser right now, so I don't have it installed, but um, you can go to tools like uh, any, any, any website that has a, lots of lists or, or um, directories. Um, you, can, you can use this to pretty much just extract all that data in a, in a CSV and then stick it into Google Sheets. So um, if, you're, if you're wondering, like, I can't code, I don't know Python, I don't know how to scrape, uh, this is usually a good workaround for that, which doesn't require any code. So that's, that kind of tool is good for getting numbers like this from a, from a source that you already know to help you just with that account targeting. And then the other tool we're gonna to use right now is actually um, a great extension called GPT for Sheets. So you're gonna already need to go to OpenAI, uh, get an API key, but again, you don't have to use any code for this. Um, you're just gonna plug in your API key here, and then you've got um, settings that you can control. So you can use the, the chat GBT uh, model, you can use GBT3 model, um, you can really choose. But um, the way that I want my message to look is, um, I wanna reach out and mention in quota attainment, um, but I also need to have something that's tailored for each company that I'm reaching out to. So um, the message that I want to be able to send is um, glad to see that you're helping companies that struggle with this specific problem. So what, which problem does, does the company solve? Um, would it help if you can filter your TAM down to the company suffering the most from this problem? Ask them because this is the kind of custom data we provide so you can, you can focus only on the best fit accounts. And then here I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, that uh, quota attainment is actually the problem they suffer from and um, hitting that um, really low, uh, low uh, bar for intent, just, you know, if, if this solution could help this metric that I think you're struggling with, um, not, again, not gonna accuse them that they're underperforming or not gonna put a specific number that they can just start to debate me on. Uh, I'm just gonna plug that in there and, and ask, would that be worthwhile uh, to try to get a demo booked? And then um, the way that I can get um, this variable, which is now the only thing that, that's remaining, is um, I can usually just start with a, with a company description. So these are company descriptions that, that Apollo already had. Uh, a lot of times Apollo doesn't have them. So what you can then do is, um, you can, a good one for this is the, the chat GBT uh, model. You wanna make it really short. And then what you can do is you can use the function uh, GBT fill. You can select the examples. So the input, output, input, output, um, usually three to five will be good enough. And then you want to put dollar signs in here so that they stay static. It doesn't keep moving down as you scroll down. And then you can put the input for this specific run. So now that's going to load. And we'll just do a couple to make sure that it's okay. So this one looks like something is wrong there. Uh, so we might have to play with it a bit. So let's just see if we have a bad example in here somewhere.
one thing we could try is just making it a bit bigger, giving it a few more examples to, to work with. Let's try this. Okay, so that looks like it solved the problem. Now we can just drag that through all of them. And I'm only gonna put a few, a few examples here. But in general, if you have you know a few hundred companies, you'd want to do this for all the for all the companies in that list. Okay, then what I want to do is I want to make sure that they're no longer formulas. So you want to click copy, and then you want to paste the values only. So now it's no longer a formula. I can change things, and it's not going to rerun the API calls and, and rack up a bill. Um, then for the next one, what I need to do is I need to get this description down into something like this, where, it's, where I can say um, you're helping companies that struggle with building customized image and video recognition models digitizing all their transactions, streamlining processes, uh, increasing efficiency. And so um, what I then want to do is um, take, it, take it first so that it's more of a, um, it's more like a sentence. So this company helps companies that struggle with building customized image and video recognition models. This company helps companies that struggle with such and such. Uh, and so that way, if it's a full sentence like this, it's able to read the description and then it's able to mimic the same syntax uh, and then extracting that insight from it. Um, so again, we can use the same GBT fill. Um, now the, the chat GBT model wasn't working great for this one. So I will use uh, DaVinci, which is a bit more expensive, but we're not running it on too many. So it shouldn't be too expensive. And then we can drag that one down. And then after that, we're able to copy and paste that in here, uh, pasting only the values. And then we're able to, to um, command, uh, command F, select companies uh, in this range. This company helps companies that struggle with, we can replace all of them. And now we're, we're, we should be good to go. So. I can uh, use VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP to put these back into the people table, and then I can upload that into a tool like Smartly. Uh, and then for all the for all the people in that campaign, I can run something that's really really tailored. It's clearly um, targeted to their website. Um, so uh, this really helps with getting higher open rates and getting higher response rates. And then um, we've already done our homework for the targeting, so um, we can use a little piece of why we targeted them to also boost the open rates but also to make sure that these are good quality fits. Um, we're not gonna get into a lot of demos with companies that aren't good fits um, and then waste our time doing that. So yeah, I hope this is helpful um, and then happy to share any, any, uh, any information or any questions that you guys have.